CD Diagnostics, the Joint Fluid Analysis Company. I was not recovering very well. I was having continuous pain, chronic pain, intermittent pain, and I just was not progressing at all. I was in rehab for several months. Uh, nothing was improving at all. So I had been suffering for quite a long period of time. In fact, it was nine months. I've had bone scans. I've had uh, CTs, CT scans. Uh, I've had the blood, blood test, CRP, sed rate, white cell count, and none of these were so outlandish that you could cl conclusively say that there was an infection. I've had uh, knee replacements uh, actually six times uh, throughout the last 23 years. Blood tests two or three times a day. They would do taps, they would do uh, other tests to try to determine what it was, where it was, and this was probably uh, within a two month period of time. Seven, eight doctors I saw, the head of uh, each department and uh, infectious disease were the key doctors that I ended up with uh, before we finally operated again. With all these tests, there was no positive results that were conclusive that doctors could hang their hat on. It's very clear in orthopedic surgery, especially in joint replacement surgery, that diagnosing infections is really difficult. And surgeons are also often frustrated with the inability to know if somebody's infected or not. As a matter of fact, the, the general tests for infection don't work as well for joint replacements. Cultures have only a 70 to 80 percent success rate. The lab tests we have from the blood have a less than ideal uh, diagnosis rate. And surgeons are often left not really knowing whether a joint is infected or not, which is a very frustrating position to be in when you have to make a decision whether the patient needs surgery or not. Joint pain is often difficult to diagnose and is sometimes misdiagnosed. This lack of diagnostic confidence is a significant contributor to rising medical costs. In many cases, the absence of an accurate test can lead to unnecessary surgeries or more significant joint damage. There have been a tremendous number of advancements in orthopedic surgery over the last several decades, and they've changed the way we take care of patients and really improved uh, overall care. The one area that has really lagged behind is the diagnosis of infection. There are currently no new technologies or tests that are out there on the market to really help us diagnose infection. And it's very concerning because it's an increasing public health problem that we really have to get control of. So we believe our test can allow us to make a more accurate and more sensitive test for infection that will then enable the surgeons to make, take better care of their patients. In 2010, over 40 million patients visited a hospital or doctor's office due to joint pain. Joint diseases including rheumatoid arthritis, gout, pseudogout, osteoarthritis, lupus, Lyme, and infection account for over 16 million of these visits. These conditions often present signs and symptoms that are very similar to each other. The CD diagnostics test is able to accurately identify the cause of joint pain. The way the test works is we're measuring biomarkers in the synovial fluid, which is the fluid that's actually within the joint, to try to detect whether there's an infection or not. And this is done fundamentally different than most tests for infection. Most tests look for bacteria. The problem with looking for bacteria is that bacteria are all, all around us. Bacteria are on the glassware in the lab. Bacteria are in pieces of dust that are falling from the ceiling. So when you look for bacteria, there's always a chance that you're actually going to identify a contaminant bacteria that got into your test when there's not even an infection. Our test looks at your body's response to infection. So it's not a susceptible contamination, and we're actually measuring whether there is a clinical infection rather than just identifying a bacterium. And we feel that this is a very necessary and powerful way to identify whether there are infections in joints. The company has a technology that will help a tremendous number of people. CD Diagnostics has shown that every source of joint pain causes a different production of biomarkers. These biomarker profiles that we look at then can differentiate a whole series of diseases. These include gout, Lyme, rheumatoid arthritis, infection, as well as pseudogout. 
The body's defense system fights a particular joint disease such as infection with specific weapons that are designed to fight that disease. This response by the body creates a genetic signature for each disease. This genetic signature of proteins or biomarkers can be used as a diagnostic tool to identify a specific disease. Because many of our initial experiments and publications were using complex genetic tests to identify the biomarkers, there's many out there that think that that's what we have to diagnose infection. But in reality, we've reduced all of that theory down to an immunoassay. Immunoassay is basically the basis of a pregnancy test. It's fast, it's easy, and every hospital in the country knows how to use it. So what we've come up with now is a more simple, uh, a cheaper, and an easier test. And we no longer need the complex genetic tests to give us an answer. A small sample of fluid is removed from a patient's painful joint and placed into a collection chamber on the test. The fluid flows along a path and comes in contact with specially designed markers. If these markers change color, then the test is a positive for the disease being tested. Just like an over-the-counter pregnancy test, results are highly accurate and visible within five to 10 minutes. Infection after joint replacement is a pretty serious issue and it's happening more and more commonly. The baby boomers are now getting to the age where they're needing joint replacements. I mean, people as young as 40 and 50 need them sometimes. And if you look at the incidence of joint replacements over time, they're increasing exponentially. So right now, there's probably about 800,000 to a million joint replacements done a year. Over the next 10 years, that's going to increase so substantially that people are worried that there aren't enough surgeons to take care of them. On top of that, the number of resistant organisms and infections is growing, and the number of infections is increasing. So we're going to have this huge burden of patients with infection coming into the healthcare uh, arena, and we're going to need a method to diagnose them appropriately. Our patented technology offers a solution that will enable the medical community to meet this growing demand with joint fluid analysis. Our point of care tests will provide diagnostic confidence with a simple, rapid, and accurate diagnostic tool. CD Diagnostics, the joint fluid analysis company.